Race one has been num won by number seven. We have touched down some. Give me the green lights. And uh, Sean Veal was the jockey board. Sean, well done. Yeah, just thanks to the Snake team, you know, for the opportunity and to the owners. I said when I got off him first time out, I think there's something here. He's got a lot of presence about him. He's got a good action. He's got a good turn of foot. So I think they're going to have a lot of fun with him, you know. He's, uh, he blew them away today when I shook him up. He's still a little bit green, but uh, he won a very good race. So just well done to the whole Snake team and obviously to Jono and to Justin's dad and to the owners and obviously to my sponsor, Sporting Post. Thank you very much. It's the first race of the new season, so I'm glad I can start on a winning note, you know. And obviously to my wife and my two boys. I know my wife is watching, so this one's for her. Sean, distance-wise, do you think he'll enjoy a bit of that? No, Vicky, 100%. He's travelling beautiful just behind him, switched off. He's such a laid-back horse, you know. Top of a straight, you could see I was going well. I had to just wait for for them to decide which way they're going and I saw them all slip in and I just managed to have a clear run and uh, he blew them away. And Sean, the other question is um, the course. How is the course? For me, it feels phenomenal, Vicky. You know, the amount of rain they've had here, they've done a good job and the uh, track's phenomenal. Sean, all the best and hopefully this is the tone for your new season. Yeah, you know, last year I was off for three months of the season, but make it four because I took a month to come back. But uh, all go well this year. I can reach my targets I want to. All the best. Thank you. That's Sean Veal. He's got his targets for the new season set. And uh, another man who will also do that is Justin Smith. Justin, well done for the win. Great, thank you. Good start. Indeed, a good, very good start. As a horse, is he still a little bit immature? Is this all, all his ability? Very immature. I haven't ta un, uh, tapped anything in his... Uh, his ability at home, um, he's just coming to the course and doing it on his own, to be honest. Um, he's uh, uh, a horse that's catching my eye and uh, he's, he's making very easy work of it. Uh, and I, I thought this was quite impressive because there's some quite nice, speedy little individuals here. Handsome Prince, sadly, as we, we warned the public, he, he his first run back from Gelding, we thought the betting was incorrect. I think they had him priced up favourite uh, and uh, there's no ways that he should have been. So... Uh, very nice for the other one to come and pop up and uh, really well done to the Divines. This is another horse, um, it's, it's an ongoing thing every time a horse goes to the sales and they fail the scope, they normally turn out to be really good. So every horse that fails the scope at the sales, I think we'll be purchasing because he has one and he's never made a noise. So really well done to the Divines on having to keep him and you get the right one. <laughs> and well done to your winning star. F fantastic, thanks very much and to, to uh, Sean. Uh, really well done. Great ride. Hold on, just stand there, Justin. <laughs> Make me nervous. No, don't. Be, no, this is for you. This is a congratulations. You're South African champion trainer. That's from Cape Racing for you and Lauren to enjoy. Oh, fantastic. Thanks very much. Is it a check? No. It's not a check, but you all enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you very much, Cape Racing. Thanks. Well, then to Justin Snaith, the South African champion trainer. So wonderful for him and also to enjoy all his hard work and well done to him and his team. Lovely start to the day and at least to the day we've got eight more races. So it's going to be exciting as it builds up.